Plus with BioPlus. Good morning, Khoya Mora. Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on S3 and Matric exams. They've kicked off and it's important for students to stay headstrong and remember that we can do anything that we put our mind to. This exam season, we want to make sure that you have all the equipment you need to aim for A-plus results and here to give us some amazing tips and tricks on how to deal with that exam stress uh, that does indeed come with these uh, beautiful times of the year. Of course, the final exams. We've got a life coach here for you. Uh, Kirsty Malmed has decided to come through onto our couch and say hey but more importantly to answer some questions because it's a hot seat I want to get the questions out there that will serve you now Kirsty welcome first and foremost how are you feeling hi I'm good thanks well it's that time of the year and uh, we, we know it should be a, a time of prosperity, but of course, it's a time where so many things weigh on a grade 12's head, as you may know, whether it be, uh, it could be something like, am I going to get the right type of marks to enter the university I applied for? Uh, am I going to waste my parents' money and do this year again? There's a lot of pressures that I suppose you don't know when you're out of the grade 12 situation. So let's start off with stress. Yes. How does that indeed affect us, especially when it's as intense as, let's just say, final year exams? Mm. So the thing about stress is stress is about something that is happening outside of you that is affecting inside of you. And it affects us in many ways, but yeah. two of the main ways is physically, it releases a bunch of stress hormones into our system that do things like speed up our heart rate, um, dilate our pupils, and really make us feel on edge. And so experiencing that again and again and again and yeah. again over a long period of time is going to take an uh, effect on our physical health. But also what it does is it affects our mindset and our emotional well-being. Yeah. Because it's not the thing outside of us that's actually affecting us, it's what we're telling ourselves about the thing that's outside of us. So for exams, it's like, you know, am I going to fail? Am I going to waste my parents' money? Yes. And it's those stories that are really um, chipping away at our confidence and making us feel like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get through this. So if I look at stress, I mean, sometimes you're just like, ah, I mean, you're stressed out, don't worry. You're going to do that thing, call, you're going to go into the job interview or whatever that may be. You know, some people kind of just blow off stress as, mm. ah, it's a human thing. Mm. But why is it important to hone in and, and actually try and look after yourself mm. and look at the stress and try and nip it in the bud, especially ahead of writing an exam? You know, I think for many young people, there are so, well, let's be honest, for all people, yeah. there is so much pressure to succeed. And this is the very beginning of their journey of dealing with stress. So if they can learn how to be resilient now and start practicing some healthy coping mechanisms, that's going to set them up for later in life. Because if they're this stressed out now, imagine what things are going to look like when they're 40 years old. Yeah. So it's about completing those stress cycles in the body so you don't get that overwhelm and constant influx of the yes. stress hormones. Um, but also, like I said, around the mindset stuff, it's you don't want to get to a point where you just doubt yourself all the time because that's crippling and can really stop you from actually passing or succeeding. We have to address the stress. Mm. That's so important. Mm. We also have to sort of find it in ourselves, especially if we are going through it. I find that a lot of times you don't actually recognize stress within yourself. You just kind of roll with it. And also for the parents that, you know, are, are really trying to look after their kids, you know, we have to notice the signs. And, you know, just before we get to some tips and tricks to deal with stress, can we just touch on some of the signs that your kid is stressed out? Perhaps we can help somebody who, who has one of their matriculants at home at the moment. Sure. I think if your child is behaving differently to yeah. how they would normally behave, it's very easy to react to the behavior. But I would ask you to just take a pause and go, what is the feeling underneath the behavior? What's actually yes. happening here? Um, and so behaviors you might notice is maybe they've got trouble sleeping. Maybe they are quite short-tempered, impatient. Uh, maybe they're withdrawing and, and like they don't want to be part of family discussions anymore, or family yeah. time. Um, and those types of things are all kind of warnings that actually there's something going on here and it may be related to exam stress, maybe it's something else, I don't know, but any kind of difference in your child, like get curious about that mm -hmm. without judgment, without an idea of what you think it is and how to fix it and just have an open conversation and say, hey, what's going on? You, you seem like something's yeah. off here. So when it comes to, I mean, tips and tricks, just a couple of, I mean, point form, if you will. Sure. Uh, some tricks to, to deal with stress. You know, your grade 12's watching this now, yeah. about to go write their exam. Yeah. What would you say to them? Okay, so I know it sounds counterintuitive, but take a break. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> Move away from the desk. Stop cramming. <laughs> yes, stop cramming. <laughs> uh, 
um, and actually go take a walk or do a yoga class or yeah. meditate for a little bit, take deep belly breaths, my favorite. Um, but just go do something that allows the stress cycle in your yes. body to complete itself. Yeah. Um, and then also tackle those mindset issues, you know, challenge those thoughts that okay. you have, like I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fail. Well, is that true? How do you know that that's true? You know, journal okay. about it, talk to a trusted <laughs> person. Um, and, and definitely if you're not coping with yes. the stress, please seek help. Talk to somebody you trust who you can confide in and realize that actually this is pretty normal and yeah. everybody's feeling this way too. Uh, I suppose another way is, you know, we all need some help sometimes. I mean, what do you think of some products who could, you know, that can help like mental and, yeah. and, and physical, you know, vitality as well? Like what, yeah. what is, how do we, you know, how would you, you, you fare in terms of trying maybe something just to get, mm. get you perking, you know, up a little bit for an exam? Yeah, sure. You know, I, I think our bodies are under incredible stress <laughs> when we are stressed. Yes. Um, and so anything that you can do to support your body um, and to support your nervous system to deal with that yeah. and to bring you back to a calm state is going to be useful. So anything very high with vitamins and minerals, B-complex in particular, I know Bioplus is really high with uh, B-complex vitamins. Yes. Um, they support your nervous system to function. They support your brain function. They support your energy levels, your ability to focus. And I mean, that's all going to put you in good stead for exam prep. Thank you so much, Kirsty. This has been, uh, it's been magic to be very, very fair. And we're looking forward to a lot of successes coming your way. I know positive thoughts, positive affirmations, you've got this covered. And of course, the greatest weapon against stress is using the help available to us. BioPlus is there for mental vitality and physical energy. And one lucky viewer stands the chance to win a study hamper to the value of 2,000 Rand. Simply reply to the competition post on Expresso's social pages and tell us how do you cope with stress during exams? Remember to include the hashtag BioPlusExam. Competition closes Thursday, 3 November at noon. T's and C's can be found on expressoshow.com. And no matter what exam you face, just make sure that you take a deep breath, calm down, and listen to the words that Kirsty has just given you. You got this. Be more plus with BioPlus.